guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be sharing you my very basic wash day routine so I'm going to be washing this dirty hair I know oh my god it's so bad but I'm gonna show you what I do to clean up my hair so I'm gonna split my hair into four sections and just use some scrunchies to tie them up <laughs> So I'm going to be using apple cider vinegar to cleanse and clarify my hair. This really helps to restore the pH balance in my hair and scalp as well as define my curls and just give me my hair back. So I spray some of the apple cider vinegar in my hair. I like to keep it in this small bottle and I usually mix it with water. So I just spray it in my hair and then get my hair a little bit damp and kind of wash out all the dirt in my hair. <laughs> So I did the top half of my hair and then worked my way to the back. And this is what it looks like once the front has been rinsed out with the apple cider vinegar. And then I just like to open the bottle and pour some of the apple cider vinegar all on my head and then bend my head down and just rinse out all of the product. So this is what it looks like once the apple cider vinegar has been thoroughly rinsed out of my hair. You can see that my hair is very soft right now and it's gotten some of its luster back. I really love rinsing my hair with this. So now I'm going to be using some sulfate free shampoo. I'm using the shampoo from Shea Moisture. Um, I love using sulfate free shampoo because it really minimizes the amount of the natural oils in my hair that's being stripped. I definitely noticed it reducing the amount of tangling in my hair and not only that but it also increases the moisture in my hair. And if you have sensitive scalp, a sulfate-free shampoo will definitely reduce the amount of irritation on it. So I like to work my way from the back and just detangle my hair while I'm shampooing. So I'm just massaging my scalp and working the shampoo from the root of my hair to the ends, making sure to detangle along the way. I think this is very important so that I'll spend less time detangling after washing my hair. Okay, so now I just go ahead and just rinse out all of the shampoo out of my hair. You really want to be gentle while washing your hair because you don't want to create any unnecessary tangles and knots in your hair. So this is why I just bend my head forward and just make sure all the water runs straight through my scalp down the ends of my hair. <laughs> And then I squeeze all the water out. And this is what it looks like. No, there is no shampoo in my hair. It's just the light bouncing off of my hair. Okay, so now moving on to the most important step of a basic wash day. This is conditioning your hair. Now you can use a protein or moisturizing conditioner. They both are really great for your hair in the sense that they fortify moisture in your hair, reduce dryness and breakage, 
restores the elasticity in your hair and improves the luster and shine of your hair as well as aid in length retention. So I just work the conditioner into my hair, make sure to part my hair and get it all up in my scalp, in my hair and everything. And I like to finger detangle as well as I'm adding the conditioner to my hair. So once I get my conditioner through my hair and detangled and everything, I like to put my hair into four bantu knots and put a shower cap on. I leave this in for about 25 to 30 minutes, then I wash it off. And then I just use a t-shirt to dry my hair. Okay, so now you see my hair has really shrunken up, but that's fine. It's still very soft as I'm showing you here, and you can see like my curls have been defined some more. Um, so now moving on to moisturizing my hair. This is a basic wash day routine, so I'm using the basic starter kit natural hair products. I generally like to incorporate the LOC method, so I would either use coconut oil or olive oil and massage that into my scalp. Then I would go in with either the Curl Enhancing Smoothie or the Curl and Style Milk. And lastly, I'll put my BioSilk Serum on top of my hair. And then, of course, the last step is to twist up my hair and go to sleep it's been a long night but i hope you guys really enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye